hearing happening today to discuss a bill named after Mia Marcano. The college student from South Florida was killed by a maintenance worker at her apartment complex in Orlando. Eden is in the newsroom with a new version of the measure presented today in Tallahassee. Eden. Nicole Calvin, a new version of Mia's law was presented in Tallahassee today, but not at the approval of some representatives and Mia's own mother. In the beginning, the law included mandatory national background checks for apartment staff and a key log for workers entering and leaving a home. That is no longer the case. The new version of the bill requires apartments to notify residents 24 hours in advance before a worker enters their unit. Before, it was only 12 hours. Mia Marcano was found dead last October. Deputies believe the person responsible for kidnapping and killing her was a maintenance worker at the complex where she lived and worked. It's believed he used a key fob to enter her apartment where he waited for her. He later committed suicide days after the investigation into her disappearance launched. Mia's parents, like all parents who have their children in rental apartments, had the expectation that Mia would be safe and come home. Mia's law would extend a greater sense of personal security and safety in the homes of over 2 million renters in our state. Marcano's mother has said the new bill isn't enough. The bill sponsor, State Representative Robin Bartleman of Weston, urged patients saying the bill still had to go through the two more House committees. Back to you. Okay, thanks a lot. We want